Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we will see the NPTEL proctored exam questions which were asked in April 2023 for the NPTEL course Cloud Computing. So let's get into the video. First question is, which of the following are the properties of web service SLAs? SLA automation is required for negotiation, provisioning, service delivery and monitoring. Option B, the QoS parameters are as response time, SLA violation rate for reliability, availability, and cost of service. Option C is UDDI is used for resource allocation. And option D is the QoS parameters are related to security, privacy, trust, management, etc. The right answer to this is uh, option B, the QoS parameters for web service SLA is response time, SLA violation rate, and cost of service and UDDI is used for resource allocation. Next question is a task takes T time in a uniprocessor system. In a parallel implementation, the task runs on P processors parallelly. The parallel efficiency is EFF, where EFF varies between zero and one. What is the time taken by each processor in this implementation? M is equal to T or M is equal to T by EFF into P and uh, M is equal to T by P, which is option C, and option D is M is equal to T into EFF divided by P. The right answer is option B, M is equal to T by EFF into P. Next question, what are the SLA requirements for IAAs? IAA stands for infrastructure as a service. Uh, options are privacy, data retention and deletion, regulatory compliance, and um, machine-readable SLAs. The answer to this is, it is a multiple answer select question. So answer to this is all of them. Privacy, data retention and deletion, regulatory compliance, machine readable SLAs. All of them are SLA requirements for IAAS. Next one is, Dash is a form of cloud computing which allows users to run event-driven and granular applications without addressing the operational logic. First one, serverless computing. Second one, fog computing. Third one, edge computing. And fourth one, drain computing. The answer to this is serverless computing. Next question, dash persists until the virtual machine is terminated. The answer to this is ephemeral storage. Next question, which of the following are the recovery goals of the security mechanism? Option A, stop, attack, assess, and repair the damage. Option B, detect attackers' violation of security policy. Option C, prevent attackers from violating the security policy. And option D, continue to function correctly even if the attack succeeds. So the right answer to this is option A and option D. So security recovery goal of security mechanism is it has to stop the attack as well as it has to function correctly even if attack succeeds. Next question, which is an example for passive attack? Masquerade. Number two, traffic analysis. Number three, replay. And number four, denial of service. So here, masquerade, replay attack, and denial of service, they are all active attacks. So the example for passive attack is traffic analysis, which is the right answer. Next question, what is the advantage of Dome 4J XML framework? The right answer to this is it provides access to XML utilities. Next question, in an XML document, the comments are written within dash. The right answer to this is option B, less than exclamation mark hyphen hyphen and hyphen hyphen greater than symbol. Next question, Azure app service plans define dash. Option A, instance size. Option B, security. Option C, region. And option D, scale count. The Azure App Service Plan defines the instance size, region, and scale part. It does not provide any definition for security in its service plan. So the right answer to this is A, C, and D options. Next question. Column 1 contains Google App Engine, Google Cloud Endpoints, and Google API. And their services are listed in the right-hand side. So the right answer to this is Google App Engine. It, it has to be matched with option three. It helps to migrate web applications to Google Cloud Platform. Next one is Google Cloud Endpoints. It helps end users application scalability. Next, Google API integrates Google services into end users application. 
Next question, which of the following are resource allocation approaches in resource management? The right answer to this is intelligent multi-agent model and energy-aware resource allocation. Uh, reinforcement learning guided control policy is a resource adaptation approach, so it is not a resource allocation approach. Next question, which of match the following tables related to mobile cloud computing key components? First, uh, profiler. Profiler's answer is it monitors application execution to collect the data about the execution time, power consumption, and network traffic. Second one is solver. Solver is useful for it has a task of selecting which part of an app runs on mobile and which part of an app runs on the cloud. Next one is synchronizer. Synchronizer is uh, helpful for collecting the results of split execution and combining and making the execution details transparent to the user. Next question, statement one, sensor cloud proxy exposes the sensor resources as cloud services. Statement two, sensor network is still managed from the sensor cloud interface via sensor network proxy. The right answer to this is both the statements are true. Next question, with reference to Docker, dash is a collection of changes to files. Answer to this is layer. Layer is a collection of changes to files. Next question, the dash used for resource management in fog edge computing is classified on the basis of data flow control and tenancy. Option A, algorithms. Option B, architecture. Option C, hardware. And option D, infrastructure. The right answer to this is architectures. Next question, a Kubernetes cluster consists of a set of worker machines called dash. Option A, pods. Option B, nodes. Option C, control plane. And option D, centers. So the worker machines are called nodes. It is the right answer. Next question, with a virtual memory size of 1024 GB and transmission rate of 16 MB per second, what is the total migration time? The total migration time formula is the virtual memory size divided by transmission rate. So 1024 GB divided by 16 MB will give you 18 hours. Next question, Dash is a fully managed proprietary NoSQL database service which supports key value and document data structures. The answer to this is Amazon DynamoDB, option A. Next question, what is the benefit of 5G's ability to scale down in data rates, power, and mobility for IoT devices? Option A, it provides extremely lean and low-cost connectivity solutions. Option B, it allows for faster data rates and lower latency. Option C, it enables immersive experiences like VR and AR. And option D, it provides ultra-reliable, low-latency links for mission-critical applications. So the answer to this is option A. It provides extremely lean and low-cost connectivity solutions. Next question, what is the purpose of spatial analysis? Option A, to study the characteristics of people and their behaviors. Option B, to study the characteristics of places, regions, and their relationships. So the right answer to this is option B. Next question, what is the advantage of the health model which is designed for fog edge computing? The answer to this is it aims to reduce latency, network usage and cost incurred in the cloud. So that is all with the questions for cloud computing. See you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.